Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to the Mama's Review. I'm excited to bring you guys another review on a product that we really love and have used a ton with my family. I have my little guy with me here today. This is Jacob. Um, he is busy and moving and crawling. And so if you hear a bit of background noise, I apologize for that. Like that. <laughs> but that's all part of parenting. It's all part of motherhood. And that's all part of what I do, right? So anyway guys, let's get started. So the product we're going to be reviewing today guys is the Probiotics by Protective BioGaia. There you go. It is a drop form. It is a 5 milliliter bottle and you give 5 drops daily. So the bottle lasts you roughly around a month and it works wonders. <laughs> I could stop there. Honestly, I could recommend this to everybody and anybody who has any sort of issues with their babies that have a number of tummy troubles. So we started using this with my son because he was having really bad gas in the night that he was not able to relieve himself. Whoa! Whoa, you do it! Do we got it? So we started using this with my son because he was having tummy trouble in the middle of the night. He wasn't able to relieve his own gas um, and he wouldn't burp either through throughout the night. He would just fall back asleep on me when I was trying to burp him after I fed him. And then the next time he woke up, he would wake up screaming with a rock hard tummy and I just felt so bad for him. So we tried a number of different things. We tried gripe water and that helped a little bit. Um, I would give it to him when he would wake up really upset and you would hear his little tummy churning and then we would pump his little legs and rub his little stomach and then he would be able to sort of relieve that gas. So that did a bit for us, but it didn't fix the issue. And then we started to use Olo Drops because our health nurse recommended them to us. And again, they kind of did the same thing that gripe water did. They helped a bit, but they didn't take away the problem fully. And so what we did is we went back to our health nurse and we asked her a few more questions. She gave us a few more things to try, like taking a pillow and putting it underneath his mattress, helping to prop him up so he's not laying completely flat. And this was before he was rolling or moving or anything, so he was laying flat on his back swaddled. And I think he wasn't really able to kick his legs or move or anything. We tried a few different swaddling blankets, transitioning out of the swaddle so that he could move those legs. It didn't seem to help. We tried rolling up a little bit of a blanket and laying it on, you know, just on the side of him so that he wasn't laying fully on his back, but just slightly on his side. You name it, we probably tried it. And it was just getting to the point where it was really stressful for everybody. He wasn't getting sleep. We weren't getting sleep. We were all tired. We were all frustrated. And I just really felt bad for him. Like, he woke up multiple times a night screaming because of his poor little tummy. And I, I just hated it. And I wanted a fix, but it, we just didn't know what to do. So one day out of the blue, my husband comes home and he says, one of the ladies that he works with said, well, why don't you try probiotic drops? They're supposed to help with gas and all of that kind of stuff. And so right away, me and my husband went to the store and we picked some up from our local pharmacy and started using them that day. So the transition was gradual. I wouldn't say that we saw results within like even a few days. It took us almost to the start of the second month to really see any results. And then when we did, it was like golden. Once we actually started to see some results, he was way better throughout the day, throughout the night. Like now I never have to worry about it. He farts all day and he burps all day and he never has any issues with constipation. It's been amazing. It has done everything it has said it was going to do. So one thing though that the bottle does say is the fact that you need to consult your doctor or your healthcare provider before you go ahead and use this on your infant. So make sure you do that beforehand. The other thing is, is it says not to exceed 21 days with an infant without talking to your pediatrician or health nurse or whatever. So we talked to our health nurse at one of his uh, appointments and she said, you know what, if it's working for him so well and if you're noticing a difference, I would continue using it until you think you don't need to anymore and or if something was uh, affecting him. So if you notice that he's not okay, well then you should pro probably stop it and see if that's what's causing him to not be good. Um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but anyway, so she said, go ahead and use it. I would use it, why not? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, just continue, unless you see a reason to stop. So we have been using it for probably a little over four months now. And like I said, it has worked wonders. The only con that I really have about this product is the fact that it's kind of expensive. When we first started buying it, you had to put it in the refrigerator. It was probably about five or $10 more than it is now. 
uh, I think it was around the $40, $45 mark, the very first time we purchased it. And then shortly after, it started to come out the same brand, same everything, packaging, all the stuff was the same, except you no longer had to refrigerate it, which was nice. So we can just buy a few bottles in advance and keep them in our medicine cabinet and it worked out great. Now it's anywhere between $25 to $35, which isn't awful, but like I said, it only lasts you about a month. So it is more expensive than say something like gripe water, but it works way, way, way better. Um, we buy ours at Costco, I think it's $27 or $28, something like that. And that's probably one of the best prices you're going to find. But if there's a Costco near you, I would definitely take advantage of that and go pick some up there. So like I said, I don't have a lot personally about this product other than the fact that I love it. I wanted to share it with you guys because it literally changed my son's sleeping habits and it changed our lives. So I wanted to share it with people who are maybe dealing with colic, people who are suffering with a baby with really bad gas or any sort of tummy trouble, try it, talk to your doctor, it might be what works for you guys and if it does, that's amazing because like I said, it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. So every time I do a review for you guys, I like to take this little book that I purchased and I like to write down a few things that I found online that are pros and cons to it as well because the things that I have to say might be perfect for our family but there are different opinions out there and I want to make sure that you guys hear those as well. So the only con that I could find online was the fact that it wasn't FDA approved. Most people weren't giving it very much pushback, but there were some people saying, you know, it's not an FDA approved product, you know, so you got to be careful with it and you're giving it to your infant, so all, you know, and all this sort of stuff. And I just thought, I don't really care. Um, that doesn't bother me if my doctors and my, you know, health nurses think it's fine then I'm totally fine. It has, like I said, worked and he's showing signs of improvement as opposed to being sick or anything like that. So I think it's completely fine for my son. So that was kind of the only con, like I said, but there were a few pros that I found out. So it helps a number of things. Most tummy troubles with adults or infants, you can take it yourself as well. It will help with diarrhea, constipation, bloatedness, any sort of tummy troubles gas, colic, I think that's it, I just want to reference this, cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, you pick it, it helps it. Like seriously, it sounds like if you've got something wrong with your tummy, this is going to help you. The other thing that it did say, there was a study done in 2007 by pediatricians, and I just want to read it here so that I don't get it wrong. Babies who used the probiotic drops cut down crying from 145 minutes to 51 minutes a day within a month of use. That is crazy. That's crazy. If you can help your child cut down their crying like that, like why wouldn't you try, right? That was kind of where we were at. And so this product works. I'm telling you, I am such a fan of it. Please, 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 if you're having any issues with your babies, go talk to your doctors, go talk to your health nurses about this product and see if it's gonna be a fit for you and your family. Cause seriously, it might, be the difference between you getting sleep and your baby getting sleep at night. Like I said, it's a product I love. I would recommend it to anybody and everybody to hopefully help. It might not always help. Like I said, when I first started this channel, these are products that I know that have worked beautifully for me, but if it might work for you, you might as well give it a shot and hopefully it does, right? Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this before and if it did or didn't work for you. Um, and any questions you might have that I didn't answer, go ahead and put those down below and I'll make sure that I get to them as soon as possible. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and follow along. Sorry about that guys, our camera died. But anyway, that's it for us. We will see you in our next video. Yeah, we'll see you in our next video, right? Say bye guys! Should we grab it? Be able to like and then uh no they didn't look up here hi dad say hi he's looking out the window <laughs> uh oh we dropped it it just it, it's it's ooh. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. you know it it is it is yeah crying from an go ahead and give this video this video? You're just a wiggly boy, aren't you? Oh, we lost it. We lost it. Now what are we going to play with?